and fresh air. Oh, there's a little shiny thing. Jacob Summers paused. The mountain stood its ground. He knew he needed to climb it. He knew he could climb it. But the doubt, oh, such towers of doubt, if he actually would. Riley climbed with ease. Riley always climbed with ease. But there was no ease in Jacob's spirit. As she scaled the heights with ability and grace, Riley Poverly wished Jacob would get his ass in gear and climb. <laughs> Jacob noted Riley's impatience. To the surprise of none, it helped not a bit. <laughs> it suddenly got very Stanley Parable here. Jacob, there's a ladder. Okay, but to be fair, climbing... You, uh, see anything over there? Like, uh, I, I don't know, like a bear? Climbing does seem kind of scary. Uh, I think your house is on fire. What? That's not the truth. You you can't see my house from there. <laughs> Again, funny. Devil woman. Riley the Wretched. No, dude, I mean it. It's burning down. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, she's a real chuckle factory, folks. Hey, don't fall, because uh, now I'm not catching you if you do. <laughs> if you catched me, you would be going to the hospital, I think. Hmm. I think one of Maggie's old army buddies turned into a pen pal. Dear Kenneth Young, it's nice to hear from you. I always assumed you moved in North Carolina, so it was especially nice to hear this wasn't the case. Managing your dad's textile plant just didn't seem to suit you. I think you'll find Kamina still has its limited charms. They've improved the roads, and the shellfish is still excellent. I wouldn't visit Milner, though. It's unrecognizable from when we were stationed. It's a tourist factory now, and their wares are overpriced. The bad dreams are a common refrain from past recruits. After the Canaloa, people seem to have a much harder time sleeping. I wouldn't think much of it. Turn off your TV after 10 p.m. It'll help. A military buddy? Hmm. After the Canaloa. Anybody want to talk? Oh my god, they're still on and on about that drama. Oh. Music. Oh, this one's so quiet. <laughs> this is too creepy at 1 a.m. Yo, Jacob, you feel like climbing yet? How do you do this? Like, seriously. How do you just, like, do this? No, oh, how do you do this? How? Do you do this? You just do, you know? No, I don't, you know. I think I'm uh, gonna have to find another way around or something. What? Boy. Really? I'll, I'll, I'll throw that rope down for you, how about? There's an anchor right here. Oh, this, this is a little bit dangerous. Yeah, that ladder. Would not recommend a non-beginner do that. Watch your head! Jacob Happy? was grateful. Embarrassed, but grateful. No, I think it's actually quite normal to not be able to climb this. How many bones do you think I'd break if I fell right now? Break, not fracture. Uh, let's go with like 96%. Nice even number, nice instant death. Hopefully. <laughs> Upsy daisy, and okay. Didn't die, sweet, box ticks. After you, Gumshoe. Let's go, another cave. Hopefully with a little bit less time traveling caves. Just a little bit further. So, getting close. Thank God. Oh, you know these systems pretty well. Wait, how do we... Ugh. Okay, here we go. One latch at a time. You feel okay climbing this one? Does it matter? Good point. Okay, I'll be fine. Let's just do it. Ah, ooh. Careful. Ah, and my fingers are only bleeding a little. The ladder's just up ahead. You're doing fine, dude. 
Wow, you jumped for more. Oh! was that? I think you dropped this. Uh, thank you. There. You doing okay, kiddo? <sighs> uh, Dad? I don't... Wait, what are you... Mother bears will protect their young, especially during mating season, so be extra careful not to break that light. Hey, look, kiddo. I'm sorry you couldn't go on your fifth grade field trip to the national park. I know you didn't want me to come along and chaperone. You never liked a crowd, but I'm just sorry I couldn't afford it. But we can do lots of hikes like this one over the summer. Oh, uh, why couldn't you afford, or, uh, can't afford it? It's $200, and I don't know why they need $200 for a bus ride to a shared hotel room and communal dinner. I'll make it up to you, though. Your, uh, teacher said really nice things about you. Said you did really well in science class. And Miss Cavendish said you wanted to write your paper on mom. Riley, she expects you to interview someone for that. You have to think of somebody else. Somebody more available. And I don't mean me. I can interview her when she's back. When is she coming back? You know she's not coming back, Riley. Your mother, she was incapable of most things. She couldn't love me, and she couldn't love you, and I know in your heart you want to find out why, but there's no why there. Her soul just has too many cracks. You see, it just can't hold anything for very long. You understand? No, not really. Maybe you won't ever, and that's okay too. We can talk about it later, after we find the clearing. The lamp. Wait, that story about how the, the wife was shoved up a chimney. That's not relevant to us, is it? This is around fifth grade. Oh, shoot. I think we took a wrong turn. It's okay. Climb up this ledge, and I'll meet you around the other way. By the creek. Won't take me an extra three minutes. Wait, don't... Don't, don't leave. I'm not leaving. Just meeting up with you later. You can do this, rye bread. Guess we have to. Now I'll see you up top in a bit. Our mom being gone and then our dad just stepping away a little bit like that. It's scary. Meet you around the bend. We're back in reality. Riley, hey, uh, here you are. I called and called, but echoes that was. I uh, I think my um. Uh. Hmm. Riley? You okay? I, I just saw my dad for a second. It was another time thing. I it, it's okay. I'm I'm okay. It was just, you know, it's it's nothing. I'm good. Let's uh let's just keep going. Oh. Uh okay, let's uh, let, let's do it. That was quite a drop. Thankfully you're all right. All right. Let's get out of here. I'm good on caves forever. Yeah. I think I feel the same. Is that a shrine? I can't go there. Army, come in. I'm lost. I'm on my way out. Oh, that's a uh, uh, that that must be Violet. Was her name? I, I think. She was out here somewhere. Hmm, we must be in range. Keep a uh, keep an eye out. Keep an ear out. Hey, Evelyn, can you hear me? I'm pretty far off the grid, so I'm just checking. Over. Okay. That's a big no. <sighs> okay, I guess you're crapping. That's fine. We're we're fine. Franklin, no, I don't think that means Katie's going to break up with you. I think it means Katie doesn't even know she's dating you. Nothing to break if it's not a real thing, pal. Okay, everybody, it's that sad time of the night. The Kamina High School radio advice line is now closed. I hope you had some fun. I certainly did not. 
Okay, let's hear cans or bottles with Philly 68. Oh, wait, it was open earlier. Now it's closed. Do I have to catch it when it's open or... Uh-oh. Will it open up again later in the night? But I don't need high school advice, though. <laughs> Dude, where are we now? Oh, we're close. Charity point. I think... Yeah, this is near the top. Gotta be a good transmitter spot somewhere around here. Now that I've had a minute or so to process, despite the fact that I went back in time to use a collapsing elevator from the turn of the century, I'm doing all right, surprisingly. Specifically regarding the, uh, the elevator, I should say. Wow, that's just great. We're all very proud. I smell sassafras, and that's just fine. You frass that sass. No, 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 it's... Well, I mean, yeah, that was kind of sassy. It's just that I'm not doing as good as you are. That's all. Whatever happened at Fort Milner must have really messed things up for a while. Kenneth, don't follow the whispers you hear on the radio. Those things you hear at night are orphan dreams, looking for someone to startle and haunt. See your family more often. They care about you. Your visions don't. Mm. The whispers on the radio. Plenty of strange sounds every day. Nothing today, though. No, no, no! Uh, Riley, Don't hurt look, me. it's that girl Violet. She's one of parentage. Come on, we have to help her. Oh, she's gonna fall. Don't Come on. cry. Don't die. No! Wait! Are they no. hurting her? I don't want her. Violet? No. Are, did she? Because I told them I would. Girl? You alright? can't make me. I'm almost... I'm going to be 17. Jacob? Wh 17. What are you... Uh, what am. are you doing, pal? Why is it only me? I'm not affected. I'm not going. No. I don't want to go to the store with you. Because my friends are Violet? Oh! Uh, okay. Nothing. At least you're not dead. We went to the store and he got me Hey, some. Jacob! He please! Come on. Okay, Violet, just... Just stay with me, okay? No, 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 Oh my god, girl. Ha Whoa! Dad? Oof. Maybe I should have just climbed the cave with you. You doing okay? The peak is just over here. One more thing about school, and then I'll drop it, because I don't want to ruin the morning. You can't be getting into fights anymore. I know that girl Julie spread some rumor, but uh, they're going to kick you out of school if you keep it up. No more friends. No more science class. I am not going to say I'm sorry to her, because I'm not sorry. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, do me a favor and show me that penny you got in your pocket, Dick. I have a penny in my pocket. When I install electricity in someone's home, I bury a really long, uh, let's call it a stick. Uh, under the ground. This stick is made of copper, like that penny. We call it grounding. Very important part of the job. Why'd you do that? Well, electricity is, uh, is a lot like you, actually. It's always mad. And being mad is what lets electricity do its job. But sometimes it can be too much, and that's when people get hurt. Just focus on the penny, and just let it go. Just let go of being mad. Because... Sometimes, electricity just needs to go somewhere. Sometimes, you know, sometimes a lot of things do. I'm... is this making sense? I don't know where you're from. Didn't even get to choose. 
I haven't chewed gum since I was 12. Oh my god. Whoa, look at her! Look at her! She's- ah! I have a history and I can't make it up. Jacob! I shouldn't have to do this. Oh! Just because you went out drinking that night and lost your purse. Oh, it's this again. We're not gonna be able to get out unless if we do something like this, I guess. Uh something vague going on here. We want the shape in the back. I don't know what they want me to do exactly though. Like I see the shape, but sometimes I'm like, okay, but yes. Oh, here we go. This one's pretty confusing for me. Oh. Is it over? Feels over. Did you go anywhere, or? I think I was upside down. Or maybe everything else was upside down and I wasn't? Don't know, like remembering a dream. A nauseating dream. Let's see if we can help the kid. We're just jumping so much through here and there that I'm just like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to take it in, but dad's appearing, my son, my supposed son's appearing. Everything is mixing together. Listen. Stay right there. I mean it. Hey, it's okay. I can help you. Just tell me what's going on. I have no reason to believe that you're real. What? It's only real if Olivia says it is. They've been talking to each other forever. At least that's what it feels like. You didn't know who's been talking to who? Olivia but talking Olivia to the sunken? Them, they won't let me stop. I just want to go home. That's okay. That's okay. You want to go home? Hey, I want to go home. Do you know where I live? I don't think she's okay, Riley. <sighs> Violet, just relax. The adults are here now. We can protect you. They'll come for you too. Olivia won't stop. Violet? What will come for us? They don't have names. How long have you been a part of Parentage? What do they, what do they even want? This has gone on for too long, okay? You have to- Stay away from me. Stop. You- hey. Oh no! Uh, ow, damn it. Ow, ow, ow. I don't- uh, Do not move. Just stay don't there. Me. Just, if you know what's good for you, you won't follow me. Just leave us alone. Kid. Oh God. This is getting bad. I swear to God, every single human being is insane. We should get the uh, transmitter to its location, see if it works. I think the best spot is on the cliff over here. Okay, let's just do that and get out of here then because everyone is insane, the kids won't listen, but Olivia seems to be a big part of the puzzle here. She's been talking to the ghosts. The other people seem like they're just doing what she is spearheading and they're- yeah, these kids are- the rest of the kids are lackeys of some kind. And Olivia herself. It has to do with her parents. Charity point. Why do they call it charity point? Okie doke. First couple times worked. This should be the same deal, right? Toes crossed. Around. Here we go. Ah, there it goes. Huh, all right. These uh, seem to be working. Take that, you mask-wearing, moon-worshipping weirdos. And the horse you came in on. All right, let's blow this joint. Let's get back on the trail. Evelyn? Hey, Evelyn. The second transmitter is planted. Any news? Riley? Hey, sorry, I'm the last one here. 
and the rest decided to hike back to the hotel. One too many calls from weird voices, I think, finally pushed Jim out the door. All right, let me look at these readings. Okay, this is... Oh, wow. So, wave particles in water move don't want to talk about the it. waves direction of travel. Uh, I don't want to talk about it, and you can't make me. Huh? Uh, oh, I'm... Brandon is a jerk, and I'm not sorry I told him so. And I said I was sorry for pushing him, but I'm not sorry about the rest. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. This is mimicking what okay. happened in my childhood. I don't want to. Sorry, bud, but you gotta be over five and a half feet tall before you get to make that decision. And I want to hear what happened, in detail. I had a fight at school when I was a kid. I told Brandon I was sorry, I told Mr. Severson I was sorry, and I am sorry. I mean, he wouldn't stop making fun of my hair. But still, I'm- I'm trying, Mom, to be- I don't know, better. I know you don't believe me. That's not true. I just get mad, and it's like- it's like a sneeze. My hand still really hurts. Real bad. Well, I'm glad you said sorry. At least. It was only because the principal made me. I hate getting angry. I hate the feeling. I hate not being able to turn it off. Here, it's a penny. A penny? What for? Uh, so pretend you're like electricity. People who work with electricity put, um, put copper in the ground just in case there's too much of it so it has some place to go. So next time you're mad, just pretend you're electricity and that penny is your someplace else. <laughs> It's like a game of telephone. The metaphor is getting, hey, kid! Okay, so you're in a mood. We both know that's not gonna work. No, I don't want to do... Uh... Sorry. I, I was just back in fifth grade, yelling at a teacher. Oh, God. Are we... Oh, Jesus. Are we just going crazy? I mean, never say never. I keep seeing this, like, this kid, and he knows me, and, yeah, you're not getting that? N no, I I'm sorry. Do you notice? I don't know why I'm apologizing, but I'm apologizing. Sorry. Oh, no, don't apologize. Do you notice when we were in the scene with a kid, this ladder was broken? So, I, I mean, we already kind of know, but that, that part is set in the future, and then when we see our dad, it's like when we were, in, when we were 10 years old in fifth grade. So we see both the future and the past. Oh, can we finish this up? Hey, Evelyn. The second transmitter is planted. Any news? Riley. Hey. Oh, gotta start from. Sorry, I'm the okay. last one here. The rest decided to hike back to the hotel. One too many calls from weird voices. I think finally pushed Jim out the door. All right, let me look at these readings. Okay, this is. Oh wow. So. Wave particles in water move perpendicularly to the wave's direction of travel, and airwaves oscillate in the same direction. These frequencies are moving in every direction. That's not normal. Or possible. I flunked science class, Evelyn. What does all of that mean? It means things aren't right. And the rate of decay on these, it's... This is unbelievable. Oh, crap, my mom is calling me. Crap. I haven't heard from my sister yet, and she she's gonna ask if I talk to her. I'm getting really worried, but my mom's gonna flip. Ugh, crap. I don't know what to do. The truth is worth it, Evelyn. If only because if something did happen, it's a lot better to have been upfront about it from the beginning. Over. Yeah, I, I think you're right. God, okay, this call is going to suck. Sorry, Riley, I have to take this. I'm still here for you whenever you need to chat. Over and out. Are you really here for me? Even Nick. Shelly's been pretty quiet about this area. Oh, the sports channel again. It's always the sports channel. Well, that's two. Two out of three. Rest of the night should be smooth sailing. Right? Violet? 
Well, hey, Riley, hold up a second. Listen to this. I'm, I don't know what happened, but I ran into that lady in gingerbread. The lady stopped Jacob from, like, getting into a fight with me, practically. Oh, really? Yeah, they showed up near me, too. It was a nightmare. God, I'm heading to the church now. Over. Stop talking on open air! Shut up! Wait, wait, wait. But is the, is the plan to still run the radio station and kill their transmitter array? Over. Shut up! Seriously! There is no plan! What? There is no plan! Bye. Over and out. Um... So, is that true? What they were saying? That they can somehow disrupt our transmitters? Um, technically. They mentioned a radio station. If they can hijack the frequency, or broadcast the station's signal in the right way, yeah, it could smother our array. Which, uh, isn't good. Obviously. Uh, okay, well, how do we- how do we stop them? I don't think we can. Our transmitters just won't be able to compete if it's a genuine station. Olivia's group owns the lease on the community center, and Parentage puts out a weekly address. It's like public access, but worse. Super strange stuff. I, I think they're going to use whatever equipment they have to try and screw up our night. Mm. You know, you know, if we can get to their equipment and turn it off, or just break it first, I mean, they're not there yet. Olivia's friends screwed up. I know it sounds caveman, but... I think it's the only option we have. Hey, if that's the only plan, then fine. We don't really have a lot of time to waffle. <sighs> True. God. Okay. So you know where that is then, right? Shelly's voicemail kept saying funny. Why? And how did it know my name? Stop lunatics from ruining our transmitter array with a radio station. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I just want to I just want to go home and have a have a safe night. Hey, uh, Evelyn? Are you around? Over. Hey, Riley, what's up? How are you holding up? Over. Uh, okay. It's, uh, been a lot tonight, as I'm sure you can imagine. I mean, really, you don't have to imagine it at all. You're out there, in it. But it's okay. Everything will work out. <laughs> or that's what I keep telling myself. Keep in touch. Ping me anytime you need something. Over and out. I did want to ask you about the... wherever we're doing a detour. Where are we doing a detour? Will we run into that place eventually? The church? Outpost for fishermen. And we drew a whole bunch of crap. Go to Parentage Church, break their equipment. Oh, the community center is the church. Alright, well, let's go. Let's go, break their crap. Hold up. Wait. No, no, no. This is going back down to where we came from. We gotta go here. Surpasses defeat. Surpasses those superficial webs of social graces. And I never know what this channel is talking about. The people you met. <laughs> the actions you took. The maze and muddle of experiences that... Never be it's on some late night Not philosophy talk. I'm a dead man. A dead man at the bottom of a hill. Rain drops falling and open eyes. Close your damn eyes, man. Oh, this isn't the sports channel at all. Like if that the beginning kinda sounded like it, but maybe not quite. You know, when I first heard about the frequencies, the, the weird radio chatter, I thought, man, Maggie is really onto something. Way before any of the rest of us was. She lived it. And this is weird, I know, but I couldn't help but think about how I'll be looked at later by anyone who knew me. The, the, the lonely old hermit who was right once. I just don't want my life to be defined by inertia. If that makes sense. Just don't let it be. Not for yourself. And who cares what anyone else thinks about how you chose to spend your days? They were yours. It sounds like you want to move out, move I away. Have visions of me in the future, different dogs, different shows on the TV. But I haven't left. I haven't done anything. I don't talk to my brother in New York really ever, and I think it's because he feels bad for me. I just hope he's wrong to feel that way. 
Well, you're sure as hell doing a lot tonight. Kamina would probably be consumed with time ghosts if you hadn't been around to help stop it. Thanks, Riley. I'll quote you on the Christmas card I'll send him this year. If we don't like the current situation, the only person who can change and do something about it is ourselves. Move out! Not move out, move away. Move away from Kamina. After we both survive tonight, though, alright? Hey, Riley. Lights on over there? Over. Hey there, Nick. How are the waves? Over. Well, that's settle on different. I'm an amateur sailor, you know, but I read books. And if you're learning to sail, the first thing you'll read is, the ocean is never still. Never trust calm water. But tonight, that's all there is. It's still as a cup of water. Never seen such a thing. Still, like, frozen? It's not that cold, right? Over. Right. No, not frozen. I wouldn't be in motion if it was. And yet, merrily, I roll along. Uh, common sense would have me steer back home, but, uh, I should see what's out there. I'm gonna need a tether, though, so if you don't mind, just reach out on the semi-regular. Make sure I haven't completely gone ass over tea kettle. All right, Riley, you keep an eye on the dirt, I'll keep one on the drink. Over and out. Yeah, sure, man. Keep in touch. Hmm. I've been trying to check if everyone's doing okay tonight. We still have a lot of channels to fill out, I guess. Oh, dear. Hmm. So, either that's a new species of bird we're naming after me, or that is a phone ringing, uh, somewhere. Fingers crossed for the former. Okay, we just hit a major bingo square. A pay phone ringing in the wild? Yeah, I should go inside and buy a lottery ticket. Do you want to pick it up? Oh, I'll read that later, maybe. Oh, d dude, you better be packing hand sanitizer. That uh, bad? Hello? Concern? Alarm? What cause for alarm? What concern? Not to cabin. Or my own and form of my love. Your sister. Wait, are you are are you saying the park ranger and you are related or That must have been about the park ranger. That message on her answering machine was trying to lead us here, so we would tell her something. It sounded like, at least. We should call her on the walkie, let her know what happened. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a good idea. But the voices... I think yours is the stronger connection, mm. so whenever you want. The voices... Sometimes I'm like, do we trust them, do we not? This one I do want to trust, because it sounds like they're trying to give us a warning. Ranger Shelly, it's Riley. Over. Find out anything about that answering machine message I got? Over. Uh, yeah, actually. I, I think a ghost of a dead relative is, is trying to warn you. A relative from so the Canaloa. If you have an uncle that served on the Canaloa, maybe think about not leaving your station for the rest of the night. Over. I do. I, yeah, I have a great uncle. He was a sonar, I think. Well, crud. Said I shouldn't leave the station anymore? I was just about to... Uh, I was just about to go do a check on another distress call. Do you... Do, do you not think I should go? Don't. I sound stupid just asking. 
Don't go, Shelly. Seriously, it's not worth the risk. I'd listen to it. Over. Uh, this is so dumb, but, ugh, okay, sure. Sure, fine, fine. I'm, I'll stay put. I can radio in some support from other stations, see if they can cover. Ugh, I hope this isn't some, I just hope this is something real. Okay, Riley, radio if you need anything. And thanks for this, over and out. It's important to make sure that you're safe yourself first before... Okay, well that achievement just said we saved Shelly, <laughs> so I guess we did a good thing here. Okay, once again, I had no prior knowledge what our last guest was going to do. I'm really just trying to fill the time slot here and we can't play every song I like because of certain restrictions. So, if Principal Haddish is listening, I did not ask him to do that. I just asked him to tell a joke. What did he do? His cousin's a stand-up at, at least, or, you know, he at least performs at open mics. I know that. And he said he had a really good joke that went on for a while. Now, I don't know what kind of joke he thought that was. The opening was kind of going somewhere. I, I think we all can say that. We were all intrigued at the beginning. Bottom line, he'll never be on again. So, please stop calling to complain. Do people... This uh, many... <laughs> this many people listen to the radio at 1 a.m.? The mess he left. Give me 10 minutes. I'll, uh, I'll be back. Oh, and you're listening to the Camina High School radio station with your host, Maria Lopez. Hey, dude, come back to the... Come back to the advice line. I'd love to talk to you a little bit more. It was eight, right? Damn it, because we tried it in the very beginning, so I didn't bother trying it again, but we might have... That might have been a good idea. How's the weather, Nick? How's the water? I don't mean see-through. I mean sharp. The water, it looks... jagged. Like you'd cut yourself to shreds swimming in it. How is that possible? You took my line. All I know is I'm sailing through it smoothly, so, hey, gift horse, mouth. A drop did splash its way up, though. Cut me right on the eyelid. Whoa. Put gauze on it. Nothing like blood on the pupil to wake you right up. <laughs> You're a proper pirate now. Let's find you a parrot. Maybe some scurvy for kicks. I'll name it Riley if I do. Still floating. Appreciate the check-in. Keep your eyelids safe, kid. Over and out. Some water came up from the, the ocean and cut him on the eye? What the heck? These feel a little more considered than random stray thoughts, but okay, Maggie. Ingrid. Stray thoughts. Consider this an addendum to our last conversation. I have no religion. I cannot say it is the pursuit of knowledge, as I gave up the chase quite a while ago. My father was devout, my mother less so. I pattern after her. Faith in a system where I cannot see its purpose is hard for me. What is the purpose of chemical existence? I've never read a satisfactory answer. Mayhem is the order in which the universe is founded, I think. The stories we take from that mayhem are us trying to line up events in a way that makes sense for our reality. I am happy for anyone who finds peace in this ocean. So I am happy parentage gives you some peace. I am not exactly jealous, but perhaps I should be. Was there something on the back of that? Ingrid. Ooh. Is that the moon or the sun? I don't even know. Yeah, holy crap, we need to call Shelly back. We did it. It's done. Good. We are trying to go to the church. We never went this side. Good thing we went this way, huh? Anything weird happening in the town hall area? Town hall? Town center? What about the general store? Do I want to know if something horrible is happening? I think we're all good. That which we can see, and that which we cannot see. Yet. There's gotta be some sh shiny stuff here, right? No. Why don't we just take this boat and go? Jacob, you know how to ride a boat? Drive a boat? Disciples of parentage, 
Oh, this is a religious channel. It's parentage. That's fine. General store is okay. All right. Phew. I uh, think we might have gotten here first. Seems pretty quiet. Just uh, follow me. It's right here. There's a shiny thing right above us. I'll come back for it. Do you know how to open it? Oh, it's open. Is this gate normally open? Uh, not this late. Olivia might have beaten us here. Mm. Well, let's get going. We need to find a way to open the radio door anyway. We haven't found that yet. Maybe we'll find it here. 2 a.m. Oh. It's just open. Hello? Okay, we're in the clear. So, if we're right, there's radio equipment around here somewhere. Let's just find it and destroy it before they get here. We can start upstairs, or just wander. Okay, but are we sure that no one else is here? What if there are other uh, members killing goats in the basement or something? I, I don't know. I don't hear anything. At least, no goat screaming. I think we're okay. This is, uh, cool. The painting? Um, po Posidonius? Sounds like a Greek god. There's a number written on the edge here. 75.6? Sounds like a radio station. Can we do that? I don't think we can reach... We might need the expanded range first before we can do that. Maybe Shelly's gonna be... What was that? Wasn't there a thing for Evelyn just now? Oh. Nick? Nick, it's Riley. You didn't sink, right? <laughs> just checking in on ya. Hey there. Still floating. I appreciate the checkup. Water took a turn, though. And not a friendly one. We're not quite in Charlie Foxtrot territory, but, you know, if the weather gets worse, I can still handle it, but... Ah. My dad was Air Force. Electrical engineering, though. Not a pilot. Yep. You sniffed it. Served years back. And similar company. I didn't get to fly either. Couldn't speak for the current state of the service, but when I was your age, everyone was itching for the fastest, shiniest bird in the coop. Everyone wanted to fly. Everyone. I wanted to explore. I wanted the shuttle. Let the flyboys have their pissing contest. Ever see the inside of a shuttle? Over. Sure. On TV, like everyone else. I was too tall, you see. They cap astronauts at six foot four. I'm over by a single inch. Genetics. What you gonna do? That's too I'm bad. Not gonna cut my feet off. <laughs> Though the thought had occurred. That's really sad. I mean, come on. Surely they could extend the ceiling, right? Now, they didn't have room to fart in that shoebox. I can't blame them. Never quite shook the bug to, you know, stand somewhere no one else ever had. That's why I bought the boat. So far, all I've found is seaweed and styrofoam. Anyway, thanks for the check-in. I'm heading further out, see if I can get a better view of it all. Reach out when you can. Make sure I haven't drowned. Over and out. Sounds good. Hang in there, Nick. Huh. Is this a, an altar or something? What's planet shine? The paradise? I keep hearing that from, from Olivia, I think. Yeah, this is weird. See those symbols? Wait, I remember now. Those markings when we walked in, they looked so familiar. I've seen these around town. A lot. And, and, and they always looked kind of, you know, amateurish. Like young people made them. And, and with a purpose and a sequence. I think it's how Olivia and them communicate. Right? Are you saying that they copied these? Or, or what? Uh, maybe. Mm, I, I just wonder what any of this has to do with... There's a lot of celestial paintings up top. 
Oh, I hate when they do this. Let's just find that station equipment before anything uh, happens. Yeah, good call. Look, all the the stuff here. There's quite a bit of stuff. I would say it looks like craft show art, but craft show art has more intensity. Door says observatory, but it should say locked observatory. <laughs> that isn't how you spell observatory, whoever wrote that, but it's close. Oh, this seems promising. No coffee machine. Cool, guys. Looks like there's a receipt here for some military hardware. Oh, this is odd. Parallaxing can happen even when waning. There's a, a construction paper clock here that goes to 32 in the morning. And, oh, a photo of a bumper sticker that says, reach for the stars. Really? That's odd. Kind of silly, to be honest. The moon is huge tonight. Strange gizmo. Oh, oh, this is one of those. We, we used to call them casters in the army. It's a radio with a broader range. It'll work on, on that lock back in Garland. Radio locks. Oh, awesome. Upgrade. Well, found the antenna. Looks too sturdy to damage, honestly. Yeah, looks like it's from the 50s. Or 40s? A military tech from that era looked very similar. This stuff is made out of alloys that ain't gonna bend. Let's find the control panel that works it. All right, we could go out, but I haven't finished looking at whatever's here yet. Hey, this looks like something. A cable running the length of the center? Must be connecting the antenna outside to something under us. The hidden laboratory, I presume? Imported from the finest chandeliers are us, I'm sure. We still haven't looked at the other side yet, the right side. There's a star map here. And a lunar calendar, too? Hmm, it's hard to read. It's a pretty cheesy font for a cult. Some of this looks Babylonian. They look like hieroglyphics. Basically the same as Sumerian. Oh, like you know what Babylonian looks like. Hey, don't be so surprised. I have a library card, too, you know. Well, you didn't give me a good impression of your knowledge that last time with the elk thing. <laughs> it is hard to imagine a cult putting on a stage show, but I guess anything's possible. It's for orating, presenting. You know, Jacob, I have to say, I know we've seen some stuff tonight. Like, we've seen some stuff, but this, this isn't stuff. This is people who've taken stargazing past, you know, like what some people would call normal levels, but... But it's not really... Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. It's all just a little too... Um... Hippy-dippy-ish? Sure, yeah, but... Uh, ah, whatever, so they're not evil. Or don't appear to be. And they Surprisingly. They still on Sundays, so let's find out where and rip out the circuitry. This painting had a thing. Radio with your wonderfully gracious host, Maria. If you're just joining us, the topic for the next 30 minutes is, and continues to be, my birthday. Not birthdays, not your birthday, mine. It was just last week. And you know who didn't show up? Mother fucking Chris Roven. <laughs> Where the fuck were you, Chris? Tennis season's over. Practice ain't happening. Just joking. The real topic of this segment is the new fucking awesome bleeper we got for the studio. Mr. Wright was a little apprehensive, thinking the very existence of it would encourage more verbal mistakes. But I disagree. I think it's a great fucking addition to our radio program. But it's a question for us, you know. Do life preservers make people act more recklessly, knowing they have a bit of a safety net? Yes. Do guns kill people, or do sensor buttons only prevent happy accidents? Important questions for another <laughs> There was a 70-something thing around here? Oh, the range is quite... What was the range? This painting had a thing on it. It was like 70... 76.1 or something? I didn't write down the thing. I'm not getting any vibrations or... anything happening. Yeah, there's some stuff, but... 
That thing, yeah, this painting gave us something earlier. They won't repeat it to me though. Is it in the thing? Not in particular. Oh, 75.6. 75.6. Oh, uh, would that be like... No, maybe we have to do that somewhere else. We pick up the coordinates, coordinates, the number here, and then we use it elsewhere. Wow, we go to 150 now. Hmm. Go back the other way. Sounds good with me. Ooh. It's like a meditation room. It's gotta be this... this one door here, right? The door to the outside is open, but not the one leading inside. I think that cable tracks all the way to... here. Something feels off about the floor. It feels hollow, right? Oh, there's an underground cave system. Ooh, look, see? This goes down to a basement. The lock looks strange. There's no keyhole or combo. I don't think I've seen anything like that before. How would they ever open it? God, I know something's down there. You don't lock the cellar unless there's a monster to hide. Or radio stuff. 75.6. Aha! See? I knew the radio from upstairs would come in handy. There's a radio lock on the panel here. It's old military tech from like the 50s. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. But we can use this radio with its broader range to tune in its code and unlock it. Um... Theoretically. Oh yeah, I think Maggie actually had something to do with these. I'm, I'm not entirely sure though. Let's try it. What was that? I didn't really. Okay, know. okay. We got it. Awesome. That's some fine radio unlocking. Whew, thank God that worked. I was completely out of ideas. Cross your fingers, there's not just a bunch of old blankets down there. Let's get poppin'. <coughs> oh, sorry. The dust is getting to me. But yeah, jackpot. God, look at this stuff. That's a Rhino 320. Oh, control board for the station. Check out the antenna cord going up through the floor. She would have won beauty contests in 1978, but not so much now. Stuff is old. Okay, let's, uh, let's smash it. Or, uh, something. It just can't be functional when Olivia gets here. Yeah, I could really use the opportunity to unleash some aggression here. Well, don't let me stand in your way. In fact, uh, you know, I'll just be over here. Behind you. But are we gonna, are we gonna go to jail for this? This is wrecking people's property. Damn! <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I guess the cult members will need to get their traffic updates from some other source now. Okay, that's done. Let's. No, we have it somewhere. <gasps> well, where, where oh, was listen. he? This you hear that? place is. It wasn't in your shed. Yeah, keep no. quiet. I want to hear this. Said it'd be in your shed. It wasn't in the shed because he doesn't keep it in the shed. Wait, Olivia. I thought we were here to broadcast the. Yes. We're here to cancel out their stupid transmitter array. But if we don't also fix our antenna, locking out their signal won't help us. And your uncle- What was that? Shit! Ah, crap. Is- is that- Riley! Are you in here? Okay, let's take a breath. Take a breath? You're standing in time devotional, you disgusting piece of garbage! I was hoping to get out of here. Idea where you to prepare are to get out of here. Building, these walls? Okay. I know you're upset, Olivia, but let's talk, okay? We're here. Let's talk. Talk? <laughs> I don't talk to earthworms. Earthworms wouldn't be able to understand. Understand what? What are you even trying to do? 
Is parentage? Parentage has no idea I'm even here. My aunt and uncle are clueless. They never approve of the ceremony. It's off chart. I'm taking it myself. Olivia. Charlie, take them down. You Whoa. have your knife, right? My knife? Are you kidding me? You brought it! To, like, cut branches. Okay, whoa, slow down. This is getting insane. Charlie, focus up! Don't listen to their bullcrap! Come on! She was nice to me before. Yes! What does that even mean, nice? I really don't want to hurt anyone, Olivia. I mean, I know what Charlie, I said- there's nobody here that can make you do anything you don't want to do. I gave you a second chance at the waterfall. Show me you earned it. I- God. Olivia, I'm- Olivia, I- I don't like this. Who gives a crap what you like? I- I don't. I'm not quitting, but- But what, Violet? Okay, just leave her alone, Olivia. Good thing we Hasn't were nice to people. Haven't enough tonight? Haven't we all been through enough? Nothing has even happened yet. It's all noise and fury. They haven't fixed it. Tonight is the blue moon. Yanis is aligned. Don't you get it? This is once every ten- no, twenty years. And once this is done, we're all set. Absolutely nothing is going to- I'm, Hold on. I'm sorry, Olivia, but I'm out. <laughs> what? I just don't know what this is going to do anymore. You know what it's going to do. It's going to do everything! Olivia. In many forms of games, being out of bounds refers to being outside the available playing area and can please. result in severe penalties. Shut up! Right. Please. Please. Oh. Hello. Please. Well, enough. Hello. They should leave me alone. You will not reach even if we must push you out. Hey. Oh, oh. Whoa. They're turning off the power. Flicking a switch isn't scary, guys. God damn. Okay, that's kind of scary. What? Hey, lady. I don't know what the f you think you're doing here, but this ain't your house. Huh? Look, it's an ensign. What do those little triangles do again? Oh, great. Olivia, find and seek. And we can shelter you. It's a particle of grace. Luna is speaking to us. Wait, okay, Olivia. This lady is. You both <sighs> want out, then go. I know my place in this universe. Wait, Olivia, stop! Crap, Riley. We have to stop her. Get a radio. Whoa! Damn it. Oh, oh shiz! Where am I? I let move. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I Olivia. This is not your race. Uh, not again. Oh. Please. Go 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 go. Okay, this sucks. Can we stop this, please? I see the radio. It's over. Crap. It's. Riley! Yeah, Charlie, I'm going for get, it. Can you get out of my way, please? I'm sorry, Olivia. Just Ow! Move. Fine! Fine! Jesus! I knew the layout of this place seemed a bit interesting. Get away from her. Get out. Just shake off. Whoa! Okay, ghosts, that's really not cool. Oh god. You'll we'll all be amazed by Luna's glory! Well, maggots. how do I even. Oh, will you just shut your trap? Change it back! It, it does what it needs to. We are only custodians. You're all so fortunate. You're gonna get us killed, Olivia. Look at what you've done. Oh, shut up! Can I. continue going? Oh, I can't beat her, though. She's fast! But she has to get there and turn on the radio. Come on, Riley! No! I, I need this to work! I'm sorry, Olivia. I know you obviously want to do something here. But it's not gonna happen. You're done. It's done. I need this to happen tonight it's the blue moon what are you talking about it's her parents shut up don't talk to them about it they're gone it's, aren't they it's it's none of their it's nothing to do with them 
What is this about your parents? Olivia? What do you want to know? That they died in a plane crash two years ago? You've been here, what, an hour? I'm sure you've heard the story by now. It's everyone's favorite to tell. The crazy lunatics who joined a cult and died, leaving their daughter to her aunt and uncle. Well, it's not a cult, it's a faith, and it's real. Tonight only proves it. I don't know if tonight really proves anything, Olivia. I don't know, man. I've seen some crazy crap. What is it exactly that you believe in, Olivia? I believe sometimes it's better to just stay. Just stay in a moment that you know won't last. But that you know is better than anything that will ever come after. Parentage believes that all time, all matter is constant and persistent. And you can talk to other times, other versions of you of loved ones. On certain days when the lunar veil is weak. Like what's been happening with me. The blue moon. And if you give me back my radio, I'll be able to bring them back. I'll be able to live in that memory of them forever. You almost got your friends killed to hang out with people who are already dead. Not exactly an even trade. Whatever. You really don't care about your friends. There are beings on the other side. You've seen them too. They're not what you think. They can help. Help you, help me, help everyone. Just give me back my radio. And I'll show you. I'm keeping it. Please. I'm keeping this. And once the transmitters are done, maybe I'll think of giving it back. Whatever you have to do. One more thing. These beings. I think they're the ghosts of a World War II relic. What exactly have these things said? Leave is possible. Oh. I am feeling... God, can't you just leave them alone? No, I like you. I like you a lot, Riley. I really do. I wish this didn't have to be so hard for you. This sucks, right? It sucks. You hate it. I hate it. Nobody wants to see their friends possessed. Nobody wants to see them. I'm sorry. The night's progressed to the point where I can speak a little more freely. My name's Alex. Oh! These are my friends. Uh, Alex? Yeah, Alex. Named after my great-grandmother, Alexandra. We were teenagers, like Olivia and her friends. We went to Edwards Island, I don't know, years ago, months, weeks from now. It's hard to tell. It used to be a military base, but now it's... They got it, Ren. Thank you. Ren! We got stuck. That's the point. And now we can't get out. Nona, Jonas? We can get out. We just need a little boost. I'm still unclear on how the whole thing will work. Well, Clarissa, you don't need to know how the whole thing will work. Clarissa. What about all that taking my future stuff? Do you want to switch places or something? Or something. Riley, listen to me. You have been the arrow in my side for a while. Whenever we try to get out, whenever we get close, it's never quite worked. Never stuck. But this time it will. And do you know why? I've never tried it with Olivia. And she has a fire in her that will burn away every obstacle. You aren't the hero of this story, Riley. Remember that. Olivia's not the hero here. She, she's a kid. As was I. Alex! The plan with the transmitters? It's a good one. It is. It just might stop us. If that's what you want. Do you know what you want, Riley? Do you? Because I've traveled a million miles and a million more years just to watch you eat breakfast. Uh, 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 all right, uh, the, that, that was real, right? I was just... They're teenagers. God. All this time, I thought it was the submarine. I thought, I thought that everything was just them. That they were the beings Olivia was talking to. But it's kids. It's just kids. It, it, it's kids that go to Kimina High. That probably did lawn work for their parents. I, I don't know. It just changes things. But they're really stuck. And we're fighting them off? It just... It's hard to believe. What? You feel bad for them now? I feel differently about it now, I guess. And ultimately, we still have to do what we have to do. But, uh, I feel less great about the whole thing. Not that I felt great about it at all, but... 
Yeah, oh my... Okay, Ugh. never mind. Garland, right? That's the last location? We should head out. Yeah, so... It was very nice to hear from Alex again, but under that context... Maybe not what I really wanted to hear. Are we stopping them from leaving then? I don't think we wanted... I want her to be able to leave! Are we just supposed to suck it up? Y'all doing good? 